Uh, it's June 1st. A new month. A time for new beginnings. And also, it's time to announce the winners for Fans of Benefits for May. So make sure you watch the whole video to find out who won. For now, the intro. Well, that was the intro, but now we're, it's like the animated part before the actual thing, and then into the show. You'll figure it out. AMD has officially unveiled their first graphics card based on their Polaris architecture, the RX 480. AMD says the card will be able to power compelling VR experiences at a price point of $199 US, a very competitive move by AMD that makes this a pretty excellent option for the low end. The 480 features 2,304 compute units, over 5 teraflops of compute performance, a TDP of only 150 watts, hence its single 6-pin power connector, and will have models with 4 and 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Performance is expected to be around the level of an R9390 and could possibly get close to the 1070, but we'll have to wait until official benchmarks to be sure. The card actually launches on June 29th, which is pretty soon. At the same launch event, AMD also gave some details about their 7th generation Bristol Ridge APUs meant for laptops. The high-end chips are apparently 50% faster compared to 2014's Kaverian compute performance and 37% faster in GPU performance over last year's Carrizo APUs. If the specs are any indication, this could give Intel mobile chips a real run for their money. But what was perhaps more interesting is AMD showing off a real Zen CPU. They announced that it will feature 8 cores and 16 threads, with a enough performance to finally take on Intel's desktop CPUs head to head after years of playing second fiddle. AMD fans, stay strong. The night is always darkest before the dawn. Microsoft announced today that their HoloLens specific OS, Windows Holographic, will be available for all virtual reality and augmented reality systems. That includes other potential untethered AR headsets similar to the HoloLens, but also tethered VR headsets like the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift, which could all use common mechanisms like 3D spatial mapping and voice, gaze, and gesture control. The company published a video showing an interior designer working via HoloLens with another HoloLens user, but also a guy wearing an HTC Vive. They also had a little floating AI buddy, which might have pushed the scenario from the edge of plausibility to full-on sci-fi. Microsoft also announced it was opening up its Windows Hello feature to let users unlock a Windows 10 PC with their wearable devices, and showed off a USB camera and fingerprint reader that could add biometric sign-in to Windows 10 devices that didn't have it built in. Why you want so bad to take my picture, Microsoft? Huh? Is it because of my pristine bone structure? Yes, that's what I thought. It's time for... So it's, um, shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Really appreciate it. You just spelling it all out for me. Send me a clip on Twitter, at Bear Murdoch is mine, it's, uh, j that's just my name. Maybe I should come up with something more clever than that, but anyways, if you want to be featured on Netlink, do that, and follow me as well. I don't know, I, it, like, if you want, I don't really have a lot of followers right now, like, a hundred something, so, that's, um, yeah, I feel sad, uh, <laughs> about myself. <laughs> because that's not a lot. All right, see ya. GOG.com has announced GOG Connect, a way for you to add certain Steam games to your GOG account, so you can play the DRM-free versions without buying a game you already own. The OnePlus 3 will launch on June 14th, OnePlus announced, and for the first time, you won't need an invite to buy one initially. Looks like they finally figured it out. Without invites, everybody who wants one of your phones will actually buy yours and not another one, like I did a few months ago. Intel Skylake e-chips could slot into a motherboard socket with 3,647 pins, compared to X99's 2011 pins, if these images Tweaktown got from Computex are to be believed. It's a little bit of overkill. Streetcom announced the DB4, the company's latest fanless case meant for MITX motherboards, which provides 120 watts of CPU cooling altogether. And the Xbox One got a price drop, down to 299 US. Possibly because of the new hardware they're almost certainly announcing at E3? Let's hope so, guys. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in that description. Back in Nam, we had the orange gas in those Damn jungle soldiers jumping on us every second. It was very frustrating.
All right, you've been patient, so now it's time to announce the winners for our Fans with Benefits prize for me, which was two Ducky Secret Gaming Mice. So there's actually, there's two winners, and the winners are, drum roll please, <laughs> David Scott and Douglas Salisbury. Congratulations to you both! Check your YouTube inboxes for messages from us on how to claim your prize. The link to your inbox will be in the video description in case you don't know how to get there. Alright, so what's the prize for June? It is... A G-Skill Rib Jaws KM789 RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard with Cherry MX Brown Switches. Did I get it? Yeah, you got it. All right. Huzzah! So, I'll keep it up like this. So, how do you win this? Simple. Just subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips. Click here. Otherwise. Click here to do that one. And also, comment on any video from June. That's it. We pick the winner on the first net link of the next month. So that'll be Friday, July 1st, this time around. Good luck, everyone, and may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on Twitter over here, and specifically me, Barrett, Barrett Murdoch, in one of those locations. Uh, that, yeah, that, that's my handle, that one. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now I am extremely hungry, that is true. Time to go make Riley buy me lunch because of this terrible script. Yes, that's right. <laughs>